to have a tiger walk beside you as, as your friend, or for a lion to say hello, or have these two great elephants rumble with their joy to see you. It's, it's a very, very special place. We formed a nonprofit organization called the Roar Foundation in order to support what we now call the Shambhala Preserve. So here we are. We are uh, now giving residence to 70 great cats and these two of my biggest pals back here. Tippy's daughter, Melanie Griffith, grew up among a lot of wild animals, but she was never allowed to act like one. I remember having to learn how to cook and how and having a book on etiquette and how you were supposed to place the forks and the knives and the spoons <laughs> and the, how you were supposed to sit correctly and how you were supposed to speak correctly and what and all of that stuff. I remember not wanting to learn all of it, but I kept telling the kids that we may be going to the White the House when <laughs> we, we couldn't have dinner there if we didn't learn how to do all that stuff. <laughs> that was sort of a sort of a, um, a goal to, to uh, for everybody. Yeah. And it we was still later haven't on. Gotten there. We still We've haven't gotten to the White House. To the White no, House. But it's, you know, life is not over, Melanie. There's still time. That's true. Don's had dinner there twice, so maybe he'll take me sometime. Then I'll know how to behave. <laughs> He's very polished. Now, I don't think he was before. When we were together before, he wasn't. Yeah, he's, he's quite different now, isn't he? Yes, he's very elegant. And yes, he is very elegant. When Melanie, well, when Melanie decided to get married, she oh got married. <laughs> and oh. in fact, um, you know what, Don and I've talked about this. I mean, this is—it was so awful when we called you to say, and Don was on the other line, and you oh, didn't know it. And I went, Mom, guess what? We just got married, and you went. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know, there were dichotomous feelings there because, first of all, I, I felt a little cheated out of giving you a wedding, mm -hmm. you know, which is always yeah, something sure. that was, that, you know, as a mother, you kind of, that's an exciting time, you know. So I felt, I felt kind of bad. I'm sure about you that. did. I'm sure. sorry. Maybe we'll be able to make it up to you again. Maybe yeah. you will. <laughs> I, I, I certainly hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do want to be involved with your wedding. Well, you will be involved. Yes, I do. Oh, I have, to, I have something that I want to tell you that was such an honor for me. What? That you invited me to be present when Alexander was born um, in the hospital to be there with you. That was one of the most wonderful things that has ever happened. In fact, I might even cry. Yeah. yeah that must have been pretty amazing. Oh, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, to, I can imagine if I have a daughter this time to watch her have a yes. baby. Yes. It must be pretty incredible. Yes. Or Alex, when Alexander's wife has a baby. Ah. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'll tell you something. It's so difficult. To, um, to have a baby because when you're first, when you are pregnant, you're very concerned about what you're eating and what you're, what you're doing with yourself. Uh, but we are never really taught no. how, how to take care of that child yeah. or how to nurture that little being because you do have a 20-year commitment, really. I know, I was so careful with Alexander. I mean, I thought he would break. Yeah. And now I know it'll be so much easier with this baby. Yes. You know? Yeah, of course. You weren't a real strong disciplinarian, but um, you made me always want to do, to do right so that I would always be your friend. You know? Yeah, I wanted that. I wanted yeah. you to be, I wanted to be your friend. Yeah. You were very logical with me. I mean, you did, you did explain a lot of stuff so that you, I mean, I don't remember ever being really grounded. Did you ever ground me or stuff like that? Um, on occasion, but um, uh, you, you really, you were really wanted, you know, to do what was right, kind of you. But you also had a very, very strong streak in you that uh, what you wanted to do was important to you. <laughs> I, I remember when one time you caught me doing something, I don't remember what it was, but I remember you wouldn't talk to me and you went for these long dramatic walks. <laughs> That's yeah, what really? I remember, yes. 
I remember thinking, oh, God, is she back yet? Oh, no, she's not back. This was a really long walk. <laughs> how, how old were you when you remembered that? Twelve. Really yes? Twelve. Oh, the terrible teens, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, teenage is difficult. I remember going to the premiere of The Birds, and I remember hearing a lot of whispering, like, should we take her? Should she come? Do you think it's right? And I remember being really excited that I was going to something that maybe I wasn't supposed to go to. Mm -hmm. And then the worst thing was that when the guy got his eye poked out, you or Noel put your hands over my <laughs> eyes. And I was like, please, I want to see the gory part. Do you remember that? No. I remember that part oh. perfectly. The uh, Oscars are... are um, they are announced at, it, you know, the nominations are announced at 5.30 oh, in the right. morning. You told me yes, I was and, nominated. And mm -hmm. at 5, you know, 37, I called you in Miami. Yeah. And I loved your, you, you know, how you took it. It was, you know, a couple of times people have said, oh, how is Melanie taking all of this? You know, how is she handling it all? And I said, well, let me give you a good example. <laughs> I said, Melanie, you got the nomination. And you said, oh, my. She's best actress for the Academy. I'm so excited. Now here, talk to Don because I've got to get the kids off to school. <laughs> yeah. You know, I so remember I think, that. Boy, you've got your, you know, you've got it all together real good. Thanks, Mom. Yes. I guess you mean you mean um, security and you mean love and happiness and kindness and elegance and love. That's what you mean to me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no, don't cry. Oh, I will. I cry. <laughs>